Hello, my YouTube fam. So tonight is Monday. This video was supposed to have been done on Sunday. Yes, I am shiny and greasy. I'm sitting so far behind. Back. So um, let me get jump right in. This is a life makeover video. And the title of this video is Let Financial Freedom Reign. And this is week 29. And I do not have on my, the best glasses. But I'm going to jump right in. Hopefully I can endure with them. The main reason... Hold on one second. This ain't going to work. <laughs> Y'all work with me. I ain't going to edit that out. <laughs> I don't think I'm going to edit it out. Okay, let's see. I got the other glasses that said I need to. Perfect. Okay, let free let, let financial freedom reign. The main reason people struggle financially is because they have spent years in school but learned nothing about money. The result is that people learn to work for money, but never learn to have money work for them. And that is the quote. And this quote is by Robert Kinsowski. Okay, let's jump right in. And take time for your life. I wrote about the importance of taking responsibility for the state of your financial health. After working with clients, no money issues for more than 15 years, I've seen a clear link between how well we handle the money we already have and our ability to make more. For example, it was not uncommon for clients who paid their bills late or continued to accumulate debt when they were unable to pay off the debt they already had to stay stuck in a financial rut. When we're not handling our money in a mature, responsible way, we consistently send a message to ourselves that we're not good stewards for month, for more. The first step toward financial freedom is to handle the basics. This might mean balancing your checkbook or paying someone else to do it. Eliminating debt or saving money on a regular basis. When we confront our fear or anxiety about money and take action to improve our financial health, we open the doors for more abundance to come into our lives. Once you've covered the basics and gotten on the path of financial improvement, the next thing to consider is how well your money is working for you. This chapter is about taking the concept of financial responsibility and building financial reserves to a whole new level. I like to challenge you to invest more seriously and wisely in your financial freedom in an even more intentional way. For an example, take greater advantage of the power of compound entrance, interest. When you finally experience the benefits of earning money on your money and then earning more and shift your attitude from working to make money to money working for you, the idea of investing takes on a whole new meaning. Many people have written to tell me about Robert Kinsowski's book, Rich Dad, Poor Dad. A wonderful story with an important message. Having sold more than a million copies worldwide, Kaninsky has clearly touched a, 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 a chord with mainstream audience who are sick and tired of feeling. I'm sorry, I am. Who are sick and tired of feeling victims to the almighty book. Kioski, a self-made millionaire, writes about what rich people have known all along. When you focus on educating yourself about money, 
accumulating assets that work for you and utilizing the power of compound interest and invest in the freedom to live life the way you want to live it. So, in the spirit of shifting from, I have a good job that pays me well, to I'll do what's necessary to create financial independence. I like to offer three specific steps to consider. One, get educated about money and investing. I know most of you are busy and that the thought of devouring into investment strategies or stocks and bonds might feel overwhelming. But it doesn't have to be complicated. If money or a lack of money controls your life in any way, then why wouldn't you spend some of your time and energy focused on this one important topic? Learning about how to use money to your advantage allows you to take back your power. For an example, you might start by reading Rich Dad, Poor Dad, a quick read, so that you have a good solid understanding of the difference between working hard to make money and having money work hard for you. This would give you a strong foundation on which to build your financial freedom. Don't let fear, anxiety, outdated beliefs, or laziness prevent you from getting educated about the one thing that has such a powerful impact on the quality of your life. After all, a lack of financial reserves is the most common excuse I hear for why people are unable to make the kind of choices they want to make in their lives. Rather than staying stuck in a job you hate or an apartment or home that no longer suits you or feeling trapped by mounting debt, decide to learn as much as you can about how to use money to your advantage. To make learning fun and easy, pick a newspaper like the Wall Street Journal and read it on the way to work. Looking for new trends or great investment ideas. Or find a friend who also is interest, interested in making and taking his or her financial health more seriously and read one book a month. Or listen to an audio program and share what you've learned with each other. Surf the web. Food.com has created an amazing resource that allows visitors to learn about a myriad of topics related to money. You can learn about how to use brokerage services, get out of debt, retire rich, conduct stock research, or invest your kids. You can even open a fictitious account and practice trading stocks online. Immerging yourself in knowledge about finances will send an even stronger message to yourself that you're paying attention and are able to handle more. Two, raise your financial standards and start saving now. Regardless of how much money you presently have, start shifting your focus from lack to wealth. Recognize that you have the power and ability right now to take control of your financial freedom, future. Instead of feeling like a hopeless slave to money or a job or a business you hate, do something about it. Inside each of us lies a wise financial steward just waiting to come alive. Whether you have lots of debt or just getting by or have money that's been sitting in a bank, Take your focus off lack or fear and reclaim control over your life by creating smart investments so you can have them working for you. Save change in a jar and put that money into a bank account each week until you have accumulated enough to go into a mutual fund. Or move your current investments to a more suitable and lucrative place. Make sure your money is working for you. 
The best motivating force for saving money is knowing that you are earning the greatest amount of interest that you possibly can for your personal financial situation. When you're making good money or your money, when you're making good money on your money, you're more likely to want to contribute more. Three, partner with the financial advisor. After driving myself nuts for the last year about needing to meet the fin with the financial advisor, I finally set up a meeting. I decided to meet with a fee-only financial planner so that I would get independent advice unrelated to any commission that the advisor might make. The planner was not only a financial advisor, but a tax attorney as well. It was the smartest thing I've done to date. Although I have a financial background, spending time with a highly qualified and experienced advisor, someone with an excellent personality who treated me like a partner, left me feeling excited and inspired to invest more time in my financial health. Finding the right advisor and making the commitment to review your financial situation from a more holistic perspective will show you the possibility for your personal financial situations. For an example, are you using the power of compound interest to earn you more money? Are you saving money in an investment vehicle that's giving you the best possible return? Are you doing everything you can do to reduce your tax liability? These are the kind of questions that a good financial advisor can answer and more. Once you learn more and feel as though you have someone on your side, you too will be inspired to raise your financial standards to a whole new level. Taking better care of your money and investment in your future is about raising your maturity level and facing the reality that a well-paying job may get you only a mediocre life years from now. The belief that a solid education and a good job or successful business are the key to long-term financial success is outdated and not necessarily true. As our economy grows and inflation increases, you may find yourself being forced to endure poor work conditions or an unfulfilling job for a greater part of your life than ever before. And if you're a business owner whose income depends on your personal labor, you're in the same boat. Be smart. Learn to make your money work for you while you're sleeping, relaxing, or enjoying a vacation. Here's your take action challenge. This week, consider your next steps in moving toward financial freedom. Where are you on the path to financial freedom? Do you need to start saving money? Switch investments you already have. Find a partner to support your efforts. As you think about how you'll make your money work for you, stop and identify one step that you can take this week. For an example, you might, one, make an appointment with the financial advisor. Two, visit your local library and pick up a tape program by a financial wizard. Three, Shift your money from the bank to a more lucrative investment account. Four, invest in your company's 401k plan. Five, cut back on your spending in one area and invest that money. The one thing I'll do in your life makeover journal, this is what you're going to do. You're going to write in there. The one thing I'll do this week to become more educated about money is and you're going to fill in the blank the second thing the one action i will take this week to invest in my financial freedom is and you're going to fill in the blank and that's it thank you so much this was a long read but i appreciate you tuning into our life makeover channel as i always say we don't know where we don't know when and we don't know how but one thing we do know without a shadow of a doubt, that Jesus will always make a way. Love you.